Good day everyone, I'm Abigail Villalo from BSE 1C. In today's video, I'll give you the 10 real-life situations where the measures of variability can be applied. Before we begin, we have to know what is measures of variability because or since we cannot explain or apply something we don't even know or understand. Measures of variability describe the set of scores in terms of their gaps, distribution, diversity, or differences between the numbers to the given data. Okay, let's start. The following are the 10 real-life situations which measure of variability can be applied. Number one, at school, when the teachers are comparing the grades of the students to determine the rankings between the top students in a class. Number two, every month, business owners and their employees are evaluating the sales or losses in their company's income. Number three, Students are comparing his grades from the first quarter to the second quarter in order to evaluate where he has improved and which subjects he needs to work on. Number four, people who are on a diet or exercising to maintain a healthy lifestyle are monitoring their weight loss by comparing the previous measures to current measurements. Number five, in sports competitions, the time gap is calculated by the facilitators and judge to determine who wins the tournament. Number six, the schools are comparing the previous and most recent enrollees in their records. Number seven, when shopping for food, people compare the prices of various items and compare them depending on their brands. Number eight, during election, election facilitators count the total number of votes for each candidate in each position, looking for gaps and determining who wins the election to lead the country. Number nine, people compare their most recent electricity and water bills to the earlier receipts to evaluate if their electricity and water usage is increasing or decreasing. And last, number 10, researchers can utilize or apply measures of variability as a statistical tool when they are conducting a research. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something from it. Thank you for watching. Always be safe and may God bless us.